Welcome to Biology Exams for you.com. In this presentation, we are going to discuss about how to prepare for TPT Petjar of exam. First of all, whatever be the exam, the first thing is to know about the exam pattern and how to approach for this exam. TPT Petjar of exam, it is an exam that is conducted by Department of Biotechnology. It is a biotechnology eligibility test. Regarding the selection details, top ranking 100 students uh, will be able to join in any of the institutes of choice for doing a PhD degree. And there is a second category that is about 175 candidates and they can do their PhD uh, in any of DBT supported institutes, approximately 40 institutes all over the country. And in this time onwards, there is a difference in exam pattern. This is an online exam. Now regarding the exam pattern, the exam duration is three hours and maximum marks 300. So this is an online multiple choice exam consisting of two parts. Part A comprising of 50 MCQ questions. And all are compulsory and each question carry three marks and uh, you have 150 marks in total. Part B you have 50 questions and you just need to answer 50 out of 200. So a topic from the syllabus only and you will be having 150 marks and each question carries three marks. There is negative marking, one mark for each wrong answer. So regarding the part A, you should take care while making a wrong, wrong decision. You should take time you know, for answering, uh, don't make wrong choices. But regarding the part B, you have many options, plenty of options. Out of 200 questions, you just need to answer 50. Now let us look into some of the questions that appeared pre in previous question papers of DBT Petjar of exam. Uh, first question, holy rejection is observed during uh, mitosis, interphase, recombination, DNA repair. The answer is, as you all know, it is recombination. Then second question, glycosylation of proteins occurs in the glycosylation, it is the post-translational modification of the protein. Uh, as you all know, these peroxisome, mitochondria, and lysosome, these are not actually the sites where post-translational modification takes place. Endoplasmic reticulum is the site where post-translational modification takes place. Uh, the third one, which of the following is not found inside the eukaryotic nucleus? Uh, you can expect many questions like this not found, incorrect, pick out the incorrect statement like that. So you just read and focus the question. Options are nucleolus. Cattle bodies, PML bodies, and centrosomes. Nucleolus, you know, you know that it is inside the nucleus and that is responsible for RNA synthesis. It is not the answer. Cattle bodies and PML bodies both are present inside the nucleus of the eukaryotic cells, especially uh, cells which are undergoing continuous proliferation. The answer is centrosome that appears during cell division. Now, some part B questions. In cell cycle, paternal and maternal chromosome exhibit a bucket stage that in during leptotene, cytotene, pachytene, and diplotene. This is the process one stages of meiosis, and the answer is bucket stage is uh, the cytotene. The second question: HSP70 chaperones are not present in which of the following organelles? HSP70 chaperones, you know that this is a protein that is involved in uh, assisting protein folding or preventing improper protein folding. Uh, ER has ER has HSP70, Golgi bodies has HSP70. These are sites where post-transnational modification uh, takes place. Mitochondria also has some proteins where also HSP70 is doing some role. The answer is it nucleus. Nucleus doesn't have in it HSP70 chaperones. Uh, this, the next question is from immunology. Which of the following is a surface receptor on B cells? Options are IgG, IgM, IgA, and IgE. IgG is the most abundant antibody in the antibody, whereas IgA is the secretory antibody, and IgE is involved in allergic reaction. And IgM, it is a pandemic antibody, but in B cells, it is seen as a dimer, an antibody, as a surface receptor in B cell, and IgM is the answer. So I would we have picked out some uh, very few topics that you should go through and uh, we have seen a number of questions from these topics, inhibitors of cell, cell wall synthesis, 
uh, from translation inhibitors, transcription inhibitors like that, then population genetics, you, will, you can expect some problems from hardy per population genetics, then bioinformatics, especially NCBI, EBI, submission tools, NRA, sequin, webbing like that, you, you need to know which are the databases and uh, which are the submission tools like that, BLAST, FOSTA, etc. Then biomolecules, you should have a thorough knowledge about all the biomolecules, amino acids, uh, carbohydrates, etc. Amino acid structure, it is very important. Then characteristics of different amino acids like that. Immunology, you can expect a number of questions from immunology. Uh, you have to have a thorough knowledge about different classes of immunoglobulins and how it is different and how it works like that. The syndromes and gene genetic disorders, you can expect a number of questions. Especially then, then uh, techniques in biotechnology, especially gene cloning, genetic engineering, uh, DNA sequencing technologies, and all such things you should know. And it is very difficult to cover certain topics, uh, so the best way to go through is uh, at least you should uh, go through uh, two to three textbook, good textbooks closely so that you will be familiar with some terms. Uh, you can expect questions like DNA footprinting. It may not be possible to answer a question like that. But if you have familiar with that term, uh, it would be very easy to pick out the right choice. And uh, this type of closer, closer you work will help a lot. And the most important thing of all these preparation techniques, preparation method is to work out maximum number of questions, to familiarize with the pattern and gain confidence. And that is what matters a lot. For NOTS, previous question papers, MCQs, and more, you can visit www.biologyexamsforyou.com. For multiple choice questions, topic-wise multiple choice, choice questions, uh, that is www.mcqbiology.com. I'll be back with another topic. Till then, take care. Thanks for watching.